Okay, I'm on the web development page, and I notice that this ordered list underneath goals, that the font is a little different. And I want it to match the font that I'm using for my P element above. So let's go over to my CSS file and see what I've set my P element to. This is what the font family is. So if I want it to be exactly the same, maybe the easiest thing is for me to copy that and then go down to where I'm going to add it, which is after this figure here. And it's not the P element that I want to affect. This time it is OL, the ordered list. Oops. Oops, hit a control. Okay, let me... Oh, insert mode. Sometimes your keyboard gets in a strange mode if it does that, and you have an insert key on your keyboard, press that. Okay, so then I've changed that. Let me go over into my browser and update. And now you can see that, yes, it does match the font for the preceding P, P element. But the list items are really kind of close together. I'd like it to have a little more space. So I'm going to go in and for each list item, I'm going to make a new rule. And I'm going to say I want a little more space at the end of each one. I'm going to have it relative to whatever font size it is. So 0.6m. And if I go over to my browser and refresh, there we go. A little more readable. By adding some extra space, there's different ways of attacking that. And then looking at this page, I can see here that in this aside that I should probably do a little editing and a little markup to make it stand out a little bit. I don't need to repeat the name WebD162. I mean, this was just copied and paste, but I might want it to be standing out a little bit. So I'm going to go into my HTML for the page. WebD. And then looking at the aside, I don't need to repeat WebD.HTML. And maybe I want that beginning web development to stand out a little bit. So I might have it on a separate line or I might want it to be a little stronger or emphasize. So let me try and emphasize. This is all in line. And this is the part where you just have to go in and take a look and see what's better and what's not. And I, I might need to, to break the line here so that or maybe have it in a separate paragraph, P, P element. But I am going to choose to do a break so that you can see. So if I do a BR, then that's going to break the line right there. And so there will be no extra space in between. Going to my browser and refreshing. Yeah, that looks looks better. I mean, I might want to pee, I might not, but 
it makes it stand out a little bit so I didn't need to repeat WebD162. So this is the part where editing to make things clear helps and then doing a little markup as well. But I think we're pretty good here. If I make sure that everything's okay on all these pages or visibly appears to be okay, make sure I refresh so I get whatever's the latest, that looks good, and project, refresh, that looks good as well. Okay, so now let's go and test everything. So choose the markup first. Uh, I happen to be in pages, so I'll check project. And it looks good. Let me check on WebD. Check, and it looks good. And now let's check my index.html. Make sure the markup works. Yes, it's all good. Now let's check the style sheet. It's already chosen, webd.css. Check, and it's all good. So we are ready to package this up. Just make sure that you have your assignment information comment block at the top of all these files. Let's go to the top. And also for webd.css, make sure you have that as well. And project. So everything's been cleaned and sanitized and everything looks good. So that is pretty much the project. It's just a matter of turning things in.